This is your Election Central. Now joining us via Zoom is Mustafa Gwande, Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, uh, to t talk to us about this. how does, does, uh, does the party respond to the meeting of the EC. Mustafa, thank you for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. So, um, Good afternoon and thank you for having me. Right, thank you for your time too. The, the party uh, as NDC has been one of the biggest critics of the activities of the EC. Now, uh, the EC met the media yesterday. A couple of issues were raised. They apologized for the mistakes. They also uh, proposed for the use of Ghana card. They are also arguing that uh, the online registration will be better and more effective as compared to what we're doing now, which is the offline uh, and, and all that. What do you make of the, these responses that have come from the Electoral Commission? We, we, good afternoon and uh, good afternoon to our cherished listeners. Oliver, can you hear me, please? Yes, we can. Yes. We wish that the Electoral Commission actually uh, make do with what it says. We also prefer the online registration as opposed to the offline registration because it minimizes the ability of any individual to delete names voluntarily uh, through data synchronization. But here we are, the network is very slow. Um, in the Upper East region, for example, where I am currently, Upper West, uh, Upper West the network has been very slow since morning. It's only about some 30 minutes ago that you can see some improvement uh, uh, in the network. And so that is basically what the problem is. With the issue of minors and, and foreigners, we as a party have been very vigilant on it. But as we speak to you, in the constituency of the former Minister for Interior, Ambrose Berry, Honorable Ambrose Berry, yesterday we had to turn, you know, turn away a lot of people who are foreigners, who are minors, that were brought to come and register. We had to start these people from registration centers. In Lambose, there are foreigners that have actually been brought, and we have to drive them away and deprive them of the opportunity to register. We are of the view that registering foreigners compromises our national security and our data. And so the NDC wouldn't do that. We just hope that our brothers who are desperate for power and believing that the only way to do so is to allow foreigners and minors to retain them in power. We'll get to know that it is not a possibility and that the consequences are very high. Apart from that, we only hope that the electoral commission will make do with what it says, and then we're good to go. Well, your opponents, as you say, are also accusing you of registering minors. I, I just gave you an example of Nandom, where we, we, we uh, the former Minister for Interior, Honorable Ambrose Derry's constituency, we turned away minors, more of them. I have pictures to that effect. In Lambuse, Yesterday, we had to turn away a lot of people who came to registration centers only not to be able to speak English. And they are saying name are Burkina Bay names. So we had to drive them away. So I am giving you evidence, but they are, you know, accusing us without evidence. So who is rather perpetrating the crime? How will you solve this problem? Because they blame you. You blame them. Uh, uh, how do we police the two of you to avoid that? Uh, we are not going to put the blame vigilance. on them just because you're saying it. Vi right. Right, go ahead. Vigilance. We are vigilant. We have told them that it is only Ghanaians and people who are eligible by way of constitution and CI 126, CI 127, yeah. who can be allowed to register. It's unfortunate that they believe that where they have gotten to the they don't trust and they don't have confidence on Ghanaians to register for them. And so they must use foreigners as a basis of retaining them in power. But we are very vigilant and we are on the ground. We will not allow that, that to happen. We are counting on the police to arrest some of these people when we actually uh, turn them away. Because that is what the MPP the, is doing. How about the suggestion of the use of Ghana card to do the registration? Madam, we have, we have issues of Ghana card now that uh, uh, people are holding fake Ghana cards and uh, using to register people. 
in the Upper East. We arrested somebody like that yesterday. And so, who is supposed to have made sure that Ghanaians register for Ghana card? It is government. Government has failed to give money for NIA to do registration. Government is deliberately undertaking a voter suppression agenda to make sure that it disenfranchises more Ghanaians from holding Ghana card and thereby being able to register and vote. We have spoken about this. And so when EC is coming by the window to whisper that we need Ghana card, whereas NIA and government is unwilling to do a public program that will ensure that all Ghanaians get access to Ghana card, then what are they talking about? We are today saying it is not the duty of political parties to provide Ghana card. It is the duty of Ghana government, led by his current, the current president, His Excellency President Takufado, to do that, and he's unwilling to do it because he is under uh, uh, a data uh, uh, distance. He... Right, Musa Fabgande, I'm grateful for speaking to us here on News Beats. And let's go now and speak with Audu Ishak, who is a national communication it's secretary data in terms of... of the PNC. Musa, thank you for your time. Uh, Ishak, thank you for joining us here on News Beats. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Annie. Right, thank you for joining us. So, um, you've been following the Electoral Commission's press conference yesterday. They've raised a couple of issues. Uh, do you agree with most of them or all of them? The use of Ghana card to register online uh, registration instead of offline and warning the parties from encouraging uh, registering of minors, uh, which is, you know, uh, you know, affecting the effectiveness of the registration exercise. What are the issues you picked from and how are you responding to that? Well, Annie, I think that the amount of time and energy that the Electoral Commission has been using in recent times to ask it to respond to issues surrounding its own efficiency and credibility must be of concern to all of us as Ghanaians. It speaks to the fact that the Electoral Commission appears not to get its acts right to the extent that that is the reason for which almost every other day they would have to engage the media to clarify one issue or the other. Be that as it may, I am a bit surprised, just like so many others, that Mr. Dr. Asari Bosman would come here to tell the people of Ghana that indeed the use of the Ghana card would be a guarantee in as far as the success or otherwise of this particular voters registration exercise is concerned. How would a Ghana card stop the violence that has characterized this voter registration exercise? I have not heard Dr. Asar Bosman explain that to us, but we all know the challenges that people are going through. We all know the difficulties that the ordinary Ghanaian has to go through in an attempt to obtain the Ghana card. Not too long ago, we have all been witnesses to a decision by the NIA, by the government for that matter, through the NIA, to even increase the fees and levies in as far as the Ghana, the obtaining a national identity card is concerned. And as many people as that are unable to get hold of the Ghana card, it means that in one way or the other, they stand the highest likelihood of not being able to get their names onto the voters' register. Meanwhile, we also know that the right to register and to take part in public elections is an inherent right that is constitutionally guaranteed. And the Electoral Commission is mandated by law to continue to expand the frontiers of our electoral process by affording eligible citizens the opportunity to exercise that right. And so for me, I still stand on, I still stand with those who think that the Ghana card must not be made the only, the only, a, a, a document of proof to be used for the purposes of registration to vote in national elections. Mm. How about your, how about the accusation of you, uh, sending uh, minors to the registration centers to register. That's like forcing minors to register without their knowledge. Well, Annie, as for politics, everybody tries to gain a certain advantage. 
And that is the reason for which we have to put in place very robust mechanisms. Mechanisms that will bring about the fairness and the credibility and the freeness that we all look out for. And it is the duty of the Electoral Commission and every other institution that is linked to this particular process to ensure that we do not give such as a, to a such unscrupulous people the opportunity to bypass the system or to influence the system in such a manner by registering minors. Like I indicated, everybody would come try to have a certain advantage over the other. But once the system is efficient enough, once we have a mechanism that is robust enough, that mechanism would always be able to stop those people and be able to sanitize the system so that we have the kind of register that we need to have as far as the, the conduct of our election is concerned. Right, Aldo Ishak, I'm grateful for speaking to us here on Newsbeast. Thank you. And that is the Communication Secretary for the PNC.